Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're good. In today's lesson, I want to show you how to learn English effectively, discover some top tips on learning English quickly and effectively if you want to improve your English speaking, grammar, vocabulary, and more, you need to read more stories. Learning English can be fun and rewarding. However, it can also seem difficult or frustrating sometimes. But don't worry. We have got some top tips on how to learn English. Of course, these tips can help you to improve your English speaking, grammar, and vocabulary as I have told you before as well as listening and reading skills. It means, my kids, you have to read as much as possible of short stories. Now, let's begin with these classical tales, which is called or titled Thumbling. Thumbling, okay? Once upon a time, a poor peasant and his wife lived with their seven children in a small cottage in the big forest. The youngest child was very strange and no longer than a thumb and because of his size. They called him Tom Thumb. But he got older, he became very cunning and full of tricks. One day, the children decided to explore the forest, despite Tom Thumb's parents warning that they might be get lost. Tom Thumb filled his pocket with colored pebbles and went with his brothers to the forest. He dropped the pebbles from his pocket one by one. As they walked, so that he should be able to find his way home if he got lost. The boys went in the forest. The forest was thick and very dark. When the darkness fell, the children began to cry. Tom Thumb, however, didn't cry. Don't weep, my brothers, he said encouragingly. Only wait and we shall soon be able to find our way home. Following the pebbles, he is scattered. The children soon reach their father's house. Their parents were delighted to have their little children with them again. The children promised them not to go into the forest again. However, they soon began to think about it again. This time, though, Tam didn't find the pebbles. So, he thought he would manage to make his pieces of bread do as well as the pebbles. By breaking it up, dropping the crumbs as he went. For the second time, the children got lost when Tom Tom came to look for the crumbs of bread. None of them was left. The bird had eaten them all up. And the poor children was lost in the forest with no possible means of finding their way home. Tom Thumb didn't lose courage. He climbed to the top of a high tree and looked around to see if there was any way of getting help. In the distance, he saw a light burning and coming down from the tree. He led his brothers toward the house from which it came. When they knocked at the door, it was opened by a pleasant looking woman and Tom Tom told her they were poor children who had lost their way and begged her to give them a night's shelter. Allah, my poor children, said the woman. You don't know where you have come to? This is the house of an ogre who eats up the little boys and girls. The ogre's wife had pity on the children. She took them and gave them food. Very soon came the ogre. His wife hid the children under the bed and then hurried to him. No sooner had the ogre. Entered then, he began to sniff. I smell.
smell flesh. I smell child's flesh, I tell you. He cried and suddenly he made a dive under the bed and drew out the children one by one. He was about to kill them when his wife said, There, why don't you leave them till the morning? As soon as Tom Tam heard the ogre snoring, he roused his brothers and told them to follow him. In the morning, when the ogre found what happened, he put on his seven leg boots and went to catch the children. They watched him coming in fear. Tom Tom told them to hide in a hollow place under large rock. The ogre said nothing of the children sat down to rest himself. He was tired and soon fell fast asleep. Tom Tom told his brothers to run home, which they did. Then he crept up to the, to the ogre, pulled off the seven leg boots and put them on his own feet. Tom Tom went back to the ogre's house. He told his wife that the ogre sent him to get some money from her and showed her ogre's seven leg boots just to believe him. The ogre's wife gave Tom Tom all the ogre's money. Finally, he went home with, og with all ogre's money and lived happily with his family. Oh guys, this is the end of this short story. I hope you benefit more. You get learn more vocabulary i have some advices to you if you want to improve your english you have at least to read three stories a day and i have another tip you have to record yourself if for example some people don't like to sound the sound of their own voice however it can be a powerful tool in helping you improve your english speaking skills Try, record your, uh, try recording yourself speaking in English and listen to it back. It is the best way to improve your English learning. Okay. The second thing, listen regularly. It means you, if you have a lot of spare time, you can use those moments to listen to English media. Both podcasts and the video are powerful for this method. You can listen to them when you are driving, on the bus, doing chores, or working out. This regular routine will help you to quickly learn English. Another step, review new words and phrases. When you encounter a new word or phrase, for example, when uh, you read or uh, listening, make sure to write it down and practice it. You will find it that it is easier to remember and me the meaning and structure of your new vocabulary. You can then try a method such spaced repetition or flashcards to help you memorize them. Last step how to improve your English reading and writing skills uh, are also vital if you want to study or work abroad. Many people focus only on speaking and listening, but these two skills also need some study. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to, and to like the video, share it with your friends. See you soon, inshallah, with new story. Bye-bye.